In this video we're going to try something different with a rope chain. I'll start off by drawing out my wire to 2 millimeters. I use a 5.2 millimeter rod. Using a piercing saw to cut my links free. I close the links tight using two parallel pliers and then I lightly tap the links flat. I use my parallel pliers and a mallet to open up my links about 4 millimeters gap. Now make sure when assembling your links are 100% parallel. This will ensure that your chain is not bumpy. I'm using a laser machine to solder my links. Now I do have a more um, detailed videos on this previously so you can check out my other videos on my channel. After tacking my links together with the laser, I make sure it's secured with some solder. Now my chain was too short, it was 18 inches. I wanted to make it about 24. So I melted down another 80 grams of gold to get about another 77 grams of links. Now I'm preparing to make the lock by making two circles the same diameter as the chain. And I made a tube four centimeters by two by two. After closing my tube, I find the center of the tube and cut it in half. I cut a corner out of the tube where my hinge will fit. This is the tongue part of the lock, which will fit into the groove I'm just cutting out. The plate being added to the top stops the tongue from
from coming out. This is where I made a mistake and I had to add a small piece to the bottom of that bar to stop that tongue from sliding up and down. Now I added a lip to the outside of the tube to make it easily open and close. There's a wire added to this plate and another groove on the other side of the tube. This will help it lock. I added one of the discs I cut out earlier to one side of the lock. And then I add the other disc to the tongue. I sold the two of my end links together so when I cut it, it doesn't fall apart and I have a nice flush surface to connect to the end of the lock. So this is where I want to try something different by laying it out on a piece of wood and melting shellac on the top to hold it in place. I gently filed the top. Now, it did break a few times, so I had to keep adding more shellac, so be generous with the shellac to hold it in place. After I finish filing, I use some emery paper to smoothen out my chain. I make sure my chain is nice and even before I heat it up and take it off. Once you lay it on the opposite side, just put something nice and flat on top so you get it nice and straight. It may be a bit stiff when you take it off the uh, shellac, so just break it off and put it in some nail varnish remover. Now we're just finishing off with some polish. And our last process is to wash it clean. And I added a figure of eight at the end. As always, thank you for watching.